We said that Norman Debit had resigned as chairman of the Conservative Party. He said this in an interview a moment ago with Fred Emery. So let's now see Norman Tebbit in Conservative Central Office talking to Fred. You've had time now to sleep, however, briefly on the result. What do you make of it now? Well, it does seem a very good result. What particularly pleases me is that on the figures up to date, uh, it seems that we've slightly increased our share of the vote over 1983. Just about half a percent up, which is very pleasing indeed. Well, that, that's pleasing if that is the final outturn, but you did at one stage say in the campaign you'd rather like to get 50% of the vote. You haven't well, gone anywhere near that, have you? No, uh, that, that was a rather ambitious shot. Um, we'll perhaps have to leave that till next time. You also said to me once during the campaign, I'm sure it was in light-hearted mood, that you regarded elections as a sort of interruption in the business of government. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, I, I don't actually like electioneering particularly. It's one of those things that one has to do, and very rightly so in a democracy. Why don't you like it? Well, I'm far more interested in seeing things actually happen. Um, I'm really quite an industrious chap in my own quiet way, I suppose. But you don't like the business of actually persuading people to vote for what you want to do? I enjoy it, yes, to, to, to a considerable extent, but it just goes on for so long, doesn't it? I, a month of it. Well, three weeks, I mean, to say. It's not well, very long by, by American standards, is it? Oh, we're not Americans. Eh? We no. do things better here. We do things much more quickly. We deliver better and all that, you know. No, the, the real thing for me is that um, it just blocks off a month of one's life and uh, stops all the things that uh, were going on that one wanted to do for a month. Well, OK, fine, um, that's democracy, isn't it? And here well, we now, are. Well, now, what are your priorities going to be in government? You say you, you want to get on with doing things. You've still, in national terms, a minority government. You've got a slight increase in your percentage mm. of the vote, you say, but you've still got 60%, which is if not pro anti-thatcher as such, is certainly not pro-thatcher. Yes, I think it's very difficult to get over 50% in a three-party contest. Now, whether it's a three-party contest next time or not, in any meaningful sense, we'll, we'll wait to see. Our priorities, to get on with the radical reforms. You see, the, the economic policy is really set, and I think we can rely on uh, Nigel Lawson to steadily carry on there. But it's the education and the housing policies which are I think the most important and we have to get on with those early so that people can see what we're doing and can see the advantages coming through. The Prime Minister also men uh, mentioned when she arrived here last night inner city she really put some emphasis on that. Yes. Now, was that a reflection of your concern that that there's a divide in the country that the inner cities are much apart from London say mm -hmm. but other inner cities are much more uh, concerned about the Labour's Labour Party's policies than yours that well, you haven't got your policies across there I think that's right um, you see why I mentioned education and housing is because they're the very heart of the inner city policies uh, people in inner cities don't get a choice of education even to the extent which those in the outer suburbs do and as you know I've often made the point that very rich people can buy education in the private sector uh, and some not so rich who make a great deal of sacrifice mm -hmm. then there's a tier of people who buy houses near to the schools they want their children to go to so they can exercise choice and that's very common it happens in my own constituency but is, is uh, there a great layer of people in the inner cities who don't who can't really even aspire to those choices well exactly that's why we want to reform the education system to give them choice and why we want to reform the housing system particularly the council housing system to give people choice of their landlord even if they can't afford to buy we can break up that dominance of the grey, drab, no-choice life, plus a growing economy with uh, further falls, I trust, in unemployment. That can all begin to take our message and the benefits of extending privilege to the many through the north of the country and into Scotland. Is well, I agree with you. He didn't seem to say that he was standing down as leader of the as, lead as chairman of the Conservative Party, but in fact he has said it. He said that he's going to stand down from his job, and he's already been told by the Prime Minister what his new job's going to be, but he wasn't going to have any details yet. I know what my future holds. Yes, it's something different, he said. We're about to have the sixth result of this morning.